Thanks for watching this series on Pixelmator. Today we're going to go over how to create that high dynamic range HDR image. So first thing we're going to do is open up, we're not going to open up Pixelmator. I'm going to open up straight from the photo. So right here this image is the photo that I'm going to play with today. Open up Pixelmator. I took this photo at the Safari Park uh, located in California and one of the things I do when I take a photo is I decrease the saturation a little bit and the contrast and I'm not a photo expert uh, I'm just a novice you know practicing my way through learning how to take photos but one of the things I learned is is decreasing those will help capture the details in those dark areas in the shadow areas if you have your camera set on a low contrast um, and a lower saturation it, and they say it's good to lower the saturation because you can always increase the saturation afterwards so the first thing I'm gonna do is go on my little pointer here on Pixelmaker and if you don't have any of these windows open up that I use and you need to if you go to view you can open them up uh, right here under view um, it says hide effects, but it would say show effects, show shapes, show whatever that you're looking for. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is is um, increase the exposure just a little bit, but not too much. I don't want to uh, what they call um, white out or or overexpose any area of the photo so I'll make sure that's set kinda yeah I didn't have to change much here if I go up too high it's gonna overexpose these areas and I'll lose a detail so what we're looking for is an HDR is to try to bring the detail out a little better in the photo and get that high dynamic range um, so let's go ahead and try that so the first thing I'm going to do is cop our control C, control V, excuse me, and excuse me. <clears throat> first thing we're going to do is increase our uh, make that duplicate layer as a backup, so we have that to fall back on if something were to go wrong. And we're going to take this layer and copy it and paste it three times. So one two, three. Now we have three layers. Alright, so this top layer we are going to put the blur on it. Right now I have color adjustment so you don't see it. So if I go to all effects, which you know it's not like a ton of effects, so I usually just leave it on all instead of picking one so I don't miss it. Uh, the, 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 I don't know how to say it, gu, guasin, guasian a blur on it. Uh, and we'll add a small amount of blur, like one to two pixels blur. Hit OK. Now we're going to move down to the middle layer. And I'm going to just hide this one so I can see it better. And we're going to desaturate it. And you can also desaturate it or change it to black and white if you want to increase the contrast a little bit. So I'm going to do that, increase the contrast. So we're taking three photos, adjusting each one. Well, we have one, the normal, this one, a, a desaturation or a black and white tone, and then you have the blur. So we're going to change this first one right here, layer, to soft light. You can already kind of see the contrast that it just kind of developed. And this middle desaturation level level or blah, blah, <laughs> layer uh, to get some of the color back we can start running this down the opacity of it to bring back some of the color that's the whole way that's a little bit and it looks like about around 50 to 70 percent is kind of what you you can shoot for 
Now I'm going to take this one, copy paste, and I'm going to put the original back on top so we can see the difference. I'll click this one off and on. So this is before, that's after. and you can see some of the sharpness in it and kind of the whole look of it. It's pretty nice looking. Great effect. I may not be the best at doing it, but if you play with it, you'll kind of find uh, your style of how you can create it. So I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching here on Digital Creators where we try to bring and share our experiences together and hopefully I'm just another source on helping you develop your, your style of digital creation, whatever it may be. So if you like this video, uh, hit the like button, comment, subscribe. And if you create your, your images and you, you have them online, send me the link so you know I can look at them because I'm probably pretty sure you'll do a better job than I can. And I'm just sharing what I learn and read and, and what I pick up over time. So thanks again for watching. Robert out. Thank you.